name is Janet, Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 201. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like what you see. Please subscribe. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me this week. We have a probably a very short video um, to go over this week, but I am so blessed to have you visiting me here. So I would like to say thank you for all the love in regards to uh, grandbaby number two coming and um, and hitting 200 episodes. I didn't even, like when that came out of my mouth, I didn't even think 200. So thank you for all of that love. I appreciate it so much. Um, I do want to remind you in the description box below, there are uh, there is a happy mail form and links to many of my friends' online businesses and whatnot. So please uh, take Gander there if you would like. And with that, we're gonna jump into uh, some of the things we do regularly around here. So one of them is um, stitching a featured friend. So my featured friend for this week is Dawn. I'm gonna put her picture in here. Dawn is, has a floss tube channel of her own, Enchanted Stitching, and she stitched this Celtic Winter by Lavender and Lace on 18 Count Ada that she dyed herself. It looks absolutely beautiful. That is a finish she had, I believe, like two months ago now. So. Um, Thank you very much for sharing that with me, Dawn. I do love visiting your your channel. I don't get to it as often. I try to get to um, lots of videos, but I will um, get, make sure to get back on there and see you again soon. So uh, thank you very much for that, Dawn. If you would like to have a picture of your stitching shown here, please share that in the by emailing me at janetjabber at gmail.com and I'll get it in the queue of uh, showing on here. It's something that People like to see, they like to see the variety of stitching. So thank you very much for that. Um, in regards to, Opie is on my lap, just still needing lots of loves. This this leg problem with him is going to be ongoing. My husband says he's faking it. Um, he is not, but uh, my husband's a stinker. So anyway, with that, I had a giveaway last week and it is the same pattern twice, thanks to Crystal Rowe. So I am gonna pop the picture in here of the winners. The first one that I have is Christine um, Robert Tini, Robert Tini, and she congratulated me on grandbaby number two. She has four dogs, a cat, and a bearded dragon. And the second one is Jessica um, Rimber, and she has a new dog now that she has her children are off on their own, so her new pet dog is keeping her busy. So congratulations, Christina and Jessica. Jesse, please get me an email at janetjabber at gmail.com so that I can get your address and get those mailed out to you. Um, so that's fun. Thank you very much for entering that and all the comments and love that I received on that. With that, we're going to jump into my stitching. I have finishes. I have not fully finishes. I have fin four finishes, probably about five pieces of stitching to show you on top of that. And uh, at the end, I want to talk to you about Arbitrary August. So Let's do this. My very first finish that should not be a surprise um, because it was so close is my um, Mill Hill. So this is the Cancer one, water. As you can see, that was fun. I am not gonna stitch the beads for a hanger, so this is where it stays for right now. I need to get busy finishing, fully finishing those. My next finish is the mini petites that Jeanette Douglas put out in 2022. I'm just going through them um, in 2023, so this is the July finish. Ooh, I love the colors on this. That was fun to stitch. Um, I, I don't know if I've mentioned it on here before, but I have changed this outside border to a, uh, like a, I don't know, it's a 37 something. But I, it was it was in a grits and that wasn't working with my fabric color. So that's what I changed it to. So that is done and moving on to August when I get to that one. My next one is my focus piece for the month of July and it I just have it written as beach scenes these were free on a um let me see the cross stitch charts free cross stitch charts on a world of cross stitch um but this is the finish I did have to make a couple I didn't have to but I chose to make a couple changes so um the color here was supposed to be white and I just wanted it to be I didn't want to look like I just didn't stitch certain things. So I made changes to the shut or to the siding 
and uh, the door was supposed to completely be white. I also, as you can see, made changes to that. So just a couple tweaks here and there. I'm just playing and doing my thing. So I'm um, happy to have this finished. There's one more for this scene and uh, that'll come in in 2024. I loved stitching on this. This is just 28 count um, Lugana. And last but not least, this is on 40 count Verdal. This is the um, third in the series that I'm doing for Gathering Berries by Luminous Fiber Arts. And this is where it came out. Called for a thread, one strand, like I said, 40 count. So that was fun. Uh, sometimes I have a problem with the threads on that to where it shreds, but I mean, there's plenty of it for me. So I just kind of work through it. I don't know. Silk is not always my friend. I, you hear so many people talk about the love of silk, but, um, my hands can be dry and cat get catches on it from the kind of work that I do. And it is what it is. All right. So my stitching for this week, where did I make progress and what did I do? Um, is my queen, my Mirabelle queen, summer queen. This is what she will look like. She is stitched on a 28 count love letter by um, Color and Cotton. And this is where she's at. Yay. She looks so gorgeous. Okay, so what did I stitch on? What am I still stitching on? So I, I'm trying to make this easy. Opie's on my lap. Um, this is just scraps over here for some reason. Oops, nope, that's attached. <laughs> All right, um, so I made my way down here, basically. I made my way down here, and this is the bottom. So basically, as you can see, what I have left to do, see all those open holes? So here, here, just the openings. And then the beading. So I'm not going to tell you, I won't have the thread stitching done this week yet, but maybe two more weeks of stitching, and then we'll see. I'm not... I know it'll get finished this season. I do know. So I know I keep saying so. All right. My next piece that I worked on this week, I have a piece that me and fr me and some friends, actually Sammy J is the one that, I don't know if she's the first one to do this, but she's the driving force for me of picking a pattern that I want to get finished and divided it into 12 sections. I'm looking for it. I am talking to you about Ro Rosewood Manors and a Forest Grew. Uh, this is the piece that I... I made a copy of this and I cut it into, I cut it, I drew the picture lines on there to break it up into 12 sections. Um, and I finally, it was, a, it was a close call in the month of July getting it done, but happy report I got July's done. Are you ready for this? Because this looks so gorgeous. And I'm telling you, without this little goal, this is not something I would be seeing this far along. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just take that on. The beauty of this, you, you cannot see through the camera. The colors on these are amazing. So what did I do this month? Basically, this general area. So I'm going to finish this tree trunk in the next section for the month of August. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. My next piece to show you is a piece that I stitch with my friend Chrissy. Um, we are doing the Welcome Home... Castle Homecoming from uh, the Frosted Pumpkins. The next part dropped. We got together to stitch. Uh, she got hers done. I did not yet. <laughs> this is what it'll look like. This is on a 32 count Valor from Picture This Plus called for I Bought the Kit. So the part that dropped is right here. This little guy and it's mushrooms and I'm making a mess. It folded on me. Sorry, folks. Um, this little guy and his mushrooms and the dragon. I am working on the dragon still clearly. He is a lot of stitches. I feel like 1200 or so, but I'll get him done. So that is where I got on that. Um, hopefully that section will be done when I come at you next. And this next piece, we knew I would get the one done, but it's not done done. So, um, this is my Wicked Wednesday, Tiny Modernist Halloween calendar. And I have two pieces to show you. So let me lay them on the board. The first is the July or is the 30 block. I told you he was almost done. And the 31st is the border. So look how close I am. All I have to do is stitch in the word boo. Um, I would love for this to be a finish for you next week. We'll see. No promises. We'll see. 
And last but not least is my Festive Friday, which is Hands-On Designs Liberty Chalk. I'm doing just the pillow. And I, I appear to be color completing. That cl clearly seems to be what my mojo is right now. So Liberty, so I white is all done on this piece. Uh, red is, I feel like red may be done. I feel like red's done. This is a 28 count piece of Monaco that I coffee tea dyed myself. And that's it, that's my stitching. I told you, this is gonna be a short video. It uh, has been a whirlwind, a busy of a week, and this is what I have to show with you. But I do have um, a fabric of the month and a, a, and a Friday night fight piece. So let me show you the Friday night fight piece because that's not any um, spoilers for anyone. So Brandy's been stitched me, Friday night fight night, um, wet sand is what it was called. And this is what it looks like. I got a 32 count piece of that. I stitch on all things like Lugana, linen, um, Ada. I actually love it all. I have some of all of it in my stuff. So I change up these clubs sometimes and what I go for based on that. So this next piece, I, um, I would hope that everyone's got theirs by now, but if you do not have Brandy's Be Stitch Me's Fabric of the Month for the month of July, please look away. I am in the neutral club. This is what it's called. No, oh, it's blurry. There you go, <laughs> covered my face. And this is what it looks like. And it is not showing up as the same color in my video today. There you go, that's closer. Not really, it's brighter than that. All right, you can look back. That's all I got. I'm no more pickies in regards to this. So that is that. Is that. Um, I want to talk to you about my Arbitrary August. I have some quilting I want to share and, of course, an Aussie update. So Arbitrary August. I have the Whipgo calls, which my Whipgos were Frogworts and um, Miss Christmas Eve. So I'm excited about that. I added them onto a wheel that I have. I'm gonna snap a picture in here. This is my arbitrary August wheel. What I'm planning to do is spin it and whatever it lands on, that's what I'm gonna stitch on for 500 stitches and then spin it. I'm gonna keep doing um, my, you know, my queen in the morning. Of course, my and force grew. I've got goals on that in the month of August. I have smalls that I do every month. So you're gonna still see that. I still have one seasonal piece I wanna get done. So you're gonna still see other stitching, but. This is my, uh, that wheel is what I'm gonna use to determine like what I'm stitching on. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, yeah, those are some pieces that I just felt like I wanted to get my hands on. Like, I don't know, we'll see. I, I'm super excited about August plans and August in itself is like, kids are going back to school around here in the neighborhood. And um, what does that mean for me? I don't have kids in school. Well, I have kids that's going to college this year, but um, what, it, what it means for me is I'm a second shift worker, so it's quieter around here during it, during the day. Um, and this little guy down here doesn't bark as much because there's not people out as much. Um, all right, that's it, that's it. All right, I'm gonna show you my quilting blocks. I'm super excited to show you my quilting blocks. I hope you stick around for this. I um, was challenged um, to do the ultimate quilters it's by the fat porter shop it's a free thing um what is it called the ultimate beginner's quilt ultimate beginner's quilt so it just has you pick it has you pick eight solids i went and did fat quarters of colors i like i glued them on here for reference so i knew what i was doing and i want to show you and what this does is it builds your skills as you go and i'm so excited about this so block number one is just straight lines. I'm not gonna know the words for all these, just so you know. Black number two, I'm gonna know some of them, um, are squares that I turned into a nine patch. Black number three looks like a picture frame. Black number four has half triangles. Black number six is those half triangles like turned more times. Like it's a half triangle with a half triangle. And this one, like you do things on the edge, which builds you up for learning. I love this block. For what's referred to as the flying geese, my points aren't great. 
So black seven. Couple more, couple more. Black eight. This one's another favorite of mine. And last but not least, black nine, which my daughter loves the pinwheel effect. So I'm so glad that I stuck through and did all those blocks because you you learned your skill, you built your skills upon each other. And um uh, not gonna say I can tackle everything, but I do feel much more confident and it was fun to go through it and learn how to read a pattern and learn new skills. So that was really, really cool. Um, my friend Candy, the 614 Stitcher, um, I've been holding off to tell you that I completely got it done and I hope you stuck around to watch those. And um, that's it, that's all my stitching, sewing, all my, I do want to try to get finishing um, on my radar, maybe with the hustle and bustle calming down with summer and kids going back to school. I mean, like I said, they're not in my life, but the environment affects me. So who knows, maybe. Um, with that, I'm going to dive into a little tiny bit of personal stuff. So um, I, got a I got a couple of pictures I can't wait to share with you. Oh, here is little Ozzy with her teeth. This picture, her eyes are so bright and she's smiling so big, but you can see those tiny little teeth. That is so cute to share. She is doing so good on her eating and, and whatnot. Um, I don't think we have found anything she doesn't like. Um, Lizzie is working through the allergy foods with her and, and finding no problems so far. So that is really cool. And to watch her grow and move and whatnot and talking about growing and moving. I'm popping in then a short video here of a little Ozzy. She is crawling. Okay, so that was so precious. She crawled, stood up. It was all the things. She is a moving and a shaking little girl now. Um, I get down and play with her. We just like do all the things to get together. I'm actually going to wrap this video up because she's coming over and her and I are going to go um, run to some errands to the store while mom goes to a doctor's appointment. So very cool, very exciting. But um, with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you are having a wonderful week. Uh, kicking off a wonderful week, having a wonderful summer still, um, or whatever the seasons are for you. Uh, I just had a great weekend with like husband got lots of projects done around here. Um, he beats himself up because it's never enough, but it, it's baby steps. You just, I mean, we're working people. You just got to do what you can do. So, um, all right, I'm getting off of here because I'm rambling. I don't want to let you go. I love visiting with you guys. I just, your interaction and the joy. I just love you guys. All right, but I'm getting out of here. So I'm, with that, I hope you have a great week. Please keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm sending you so much love. Bye.